What's going on everybody and welcome to a brief channel update on premieres. So if you guys don't know what premieres are, it's just a way for a creator to pre-record a video and then you can schedule the premiere or like instantly premiere it. And basically it just starts like a little countdown and the idea is that everybody can kind of watch the video together and there's like a live chat. So it's a lot like a live stream. It's just, at least for me, the times that I've tried live streaming, it's actually really difficult for me to interact with you guys in the chat because I can either, I can do one or the other. I can't like actually do both. I'm sure I could get better at it, um, but I find it's actually very difficult to interact with you guys and live stream at the same time. And that's kind of what turned me off to live streams. So after I had tried doing live streams, I actually thought like, wow, how cool would it be to actually just initially on a video release get uh, the opportunity to have like a live chat just for the first few minutes so everybody could kind of watch it together and interact. And then like, it was like a week later that YouTube announced this and I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> so first of all, I was, I was pretty excited about it because it's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, now, there's definitely been some pushback against it in, in kind of two forms. One is people that don't like that they show up and the video can't be played immediately. And then two is people that think somehow it's going to like, because one person made a video, it sounds like that uh, they said, oh, the premieres was the worst thing ever. Um, and so I watched that guy's video. I'm not going to put it here, um, but I'm, sh I'm sure someone could link it below. I honestly forget who it is, but I watched it. And he was saying how he got lots of down votes, probably because people showed up and couldn't watch the video. Um, but he was saying he got like hundreds of down votes before the video even went live. And then um, the video itself performed extremely poorly after it went live. Now, as I scrolled through his comments, however, um, they were all saying pretty much the same thing. One, the video was too long. They just weren't interested in the content and that kind of thing. So could it be maybe the video just wasn't going to perform well? Um, you know, everybody likes to kind of blame YouTube for their poor performance, but yet you owe everything. You owe your, almost your entire performance of your YouTube channel to YouTube and YouTube's algorithm. So, so the fact that one video didn't perform well um, could it be possible that it just was a bad video or that your viewers just weren't interested in it? I don't know. I, it just seems like that was the case. <laughs> so there's that. Now, the people showing up and, and leaving down votes, like for example, this is a premiere coming tomorrow. Got 14 up votes, four down votes. That like to dislike ratio is abnormal for my channel for sure. Um, but not abnormal for an initial release. I tend to have a few viewers who... I guess are subscribed and just instantly downvote when a video goes live. Um, maybe it's like a bot or something. I really don't know. <laughs> but I also can tell you this. I don't care. Downvotes are basically meaningless. So I thought I was showing this uh, page, but I'm not. Downvotes are basically um, meaningless because I don't actually try to cater to a downvote Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't actually try to downvote uh, or cater to downvoters. They're, the person who downvotes a video, now obviously some videos deserve downvotes. Some of my videos deserve downvotes for sure. Um, but most of the time they don't. Like, I remember I was watching a video like Casey Neistat, uh, a pretty popular vlogger that I'm sure most of you guys know. He just released like a two minute video to announce that he just had a, a, a kid and um, just kind of as a, a brief channel update in celebration of a new child. And there was like, a, you know, thousands of people that downvoted that video. <laughs> and I'm like, who are those people, <laughs> right? Like, who is like, no, mm, forget about that. I don't like that, you know? <laughs> I just don't get it, right? The, there's just a type of person, and that person is not someone I try to cater to. Generally, I only pay attention to upvotes. How many upvotes completely irrespective of the downvotes. I, sometimes I'll look at the ratio, but really it's all about the number of upvotes. Um, so I just don't care that much about downvotes. Now, obviously if a video gets, you know, just so, some absurd number of downvotes, I'll look and see like what's going on here or something like that. But if somebody comes here and sees the premiere and can't watch the video, therefore they downvote the video. I mean, what? <laughs> I just don't care about you. Like, if that's your attitude um, about being notified in advance about a, a video's schedule, like, here's when the video's coming out, by the way. No, I hate that. Mm. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> you know? 
whatever. Um, I think it's cool. I, I really have enjoyed coming to the premieres. Um, I'm, I, you know, historically, I've always been there. I'm like refreshing the comment section ch and chatting uh, with the people that are here on a video's release. Um, and so I, the, the ability for me to now do that in the live chat, it's just better. It's just, that's great. I really like that interaction that I'm able to do. So um, at least in the near term, I, I fully plan to continue launching and doing premieres. Um, basically, as soon as the one video is done, if I do have another video I'm going to release the next day, I'm going to post it as a premiere. So um, the people that are getting updates about the premieres, I really don't, except for the initial video that you got a notification for in advance, every time you receive a notification, that means a, a video actually was released. It's live right now. So... To complain about that as well, I, I don't know. I, it just seems kind of silly. <laughs> like, like what has changed? I just feel like we're we're complaining to complain. So, anyways, I think it's a great update. I'm gonna keep going at it. Um, I like the interactivity as long as people are there in the live chat and we're talking and interacting with each other in the video. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a great update, and and um, I haven't noticed any. Um, disincentivizing uh, view numbers. If anything, these videos have performed way better than um, I, I actually expected uh, the kind of uh, an update to the basics videos to actually have performed. And the likes to dislike ratio also has been like unbelievable. <laughs> like, like I was expecting a lot of people to be angry at me for updating a, the basic series. Um, I have seen a lot of comments on it. Um, but way less than I expected for people. I expected a lot more people to get up in arms about me uh, returning back to the basics and helping other people come back into Python now because my current basics or the previous basics series was really pretty bad. It was just getting really outdated. It's not really done the way I wished it was. So anyway, that's all for now. Uh, if you got questions, comments, concerns, you think you're, I'm going to kill my channel with premieres, feel free to let me know down below. <laughs> um if I didn't address your concern about premieres, uh, feel free to leave a comment too. But that seems to kind of encompass the two, the two issues people have been having with premieres. So anyways, that's it for now. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in about 20 hours. <laughs>